One place to look for inspiration when it comes to capturing your world is up. Consumer-level drones are drawing interest and headlines. I'm Mia McCormick, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the unique Typhoon Q500 4K. The Typhoon 4K is a four-propeller drone that comes with its own integrated camera called the C-Go 3. It shoots cinema spec 4090 by 2160 4K up to 24 frames per second, or ultra-high definition footage with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at up to 30 frames per second. You can also access an ultra-high frame rate of 120 frames per second when you drop the resolution down to 1920 by 1080p. Now, that's a great slow motion capture frame rate for super smooth playback. It takes 12 megapixel still shots in either RAW or JPEG format, and everything is captured by a 115 degree distortion free lens. So you're not going to see any barrel distortion, which can be common with wide angle lenses. Here's a look at some video straight out of camera. The camera is stabilized with a three axis gimbal, and I thought it was so smooth that many times it looked like it was sitting on a tripod in the air. We didn't add a warp stabilizer or do any post-production work to make it seem more stable than it actually is. It looks pretty awesome. Even when the drone jerked a little in the wind, the footage stayed smooth. The only problem is that every once in a while, I'd catch the edge of the prop in the frame or the sun shadow from the propellers. But if you shoot in 4K, a simple crop can cut those things right out. The Typhoon Q500 Plus is also offered with the C-Go2 camera, which shoots up to 1080p. Or if you already have a GoPro, check out the Typhoon G with a gimbal attached specifically for GoPro. Besides the excellent stability, I want to highlight two other features that I think really set the Typhoon 4K apart from other consumer drones right now. The first is that your display is built right into the controller, so you don't need a separate mobile device like a tablet or phone to see your feed or in-flight telemetry. The 5.5 inch display is a touch screen, and that's how you'll make adjustments to your camera settings and flight course. The only thing that bothers me a little is that the display is below the controls. So your eyes have to travel quite a distance between the screen and the quadcopter. I think it'd be much easier to keep an eye on both if the display was above the joystick control somewhere. The all-in-one controller called the ST10 Plus acts as your ground station for communication with the drone, telling it where to go, when to take still images, when to record video, and what flight mode to use. One operator can shoot video and fly the drone at the same time. And you can control things like ISO, shutter speed, and tilt in the camera settings. So the included display is one feature that I like. The other is an interesting handheld device that's included with the drone called Steady Grip. So the Seago 3 camera and gimbal detach from the drone and attach to the steady grip to create the same smooth, shake-free video on the ground. The footprint is small, but the impact is really cool. And again, I'm impressed with how steady it looks. The switch is a really easy process, making the modular design of this gimbal and camera very versatile. The steady grip does need to be paired with the Seago 3 app so you can see what you're shooting. You can mount your smartphone on top as a monitor. The downside is that it takes eight AA batteries and they only power the device for about 15 minutes. Still, together, the drone and the steady grip can capture interesting perspectives and angles that filmmakers have only dreamed about getting for years, mainly because the equipment needed to do it was out of their budget. But this Typhoon 4K puts it within reach for many. Okay, let me touch on a few other smart features built into the Typhoon 4K. There are three flight modes, smart, angle, and home. Smart is a great mode for beginners and has two modes within it that'll make it a little easier to fly and capture great footage at the same time. We always recommend you fly with a spotter. That's someone who can watch the aircraft while you make sure the camera is capturing the footage that you want. But that's not always an option. So the first smart mode is follow me. In this mode, the aircraft basically follows behind the controller wherever it goes. The other is watch me. In this mode, the drone keeps the pilot holding the controller in focus and in frame, no matter which way you fly it. Now, that really means somewhere in the frame. You're often not centered, and this mode works best when you're flying slowly. It's the ultimate drone selfie, if you will. There's also a home mode that will tell the Typhoon to automatically fly back and land within 13 to 26 feet of the pilot and transmitter. Just make sure that the ground is really flat and even, Otherwise, I'd suggest landing it yourself. What's nice is this drone is designed for both beginner and advanced pilots. Once you feel comfortable in smart mode, most pilots switch to angle mode, which allows for more control. 
but it is easier to confuse the drone's orientation. We also found that the Typhoon 4K flew steadier in angle mode. The movements felt more controlled and deliberate. If you're worried about complying with FAA safety recommendations, don't be. The Typhoon 4K will not start if it's within five miles of a commercial airport and prevent you from flying above 400 feet into commercial space. In smart mode, the drone also establishes a 26-foot diameter safe circle around the pilot and a geofence to keep it within 300 feet. Basically, it takes some of the worry and risk out of flying so that you can concentrate more on what you're capturing. But if you like to live dangerously, you can turn the GPS off and fly without restrictions, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you're working in a very controlled environment. Flight time with the Typhoon 4K is about 25 minutes. Two batteries are included in the Pro version, which is really nice. And so is a car charger. That way you can recharge in the field. Unique includes a hard case with a handle to protect the Typhoon and steady grip. It's a little on the heavy side, but really solid. And the drone is pretty much ready to go right out of the case. You just charge a battery and screw on the props, and you're ready to fly. Very little assembly is required. You can easily have it from packed away to up in the air in a matter of minutes. That's a look at the Unique Typhoon 4K. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.